of him is number 191. <clears throat> God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. O Jesus, you unsanctified, a fast of forty days complete, to give us courage to perform the penance fallen nature needs. Be present to your church that mourns, with sorrow over past excess, and tries to make my fervent prayer atonement for the sins of men. By your great mercies, love and grace, forgive our straying in the past. O sinless Christ against all sin, in future keep us on our guard. That purified by Lenten fasts and abnegation of our wills, we may prepare to celebrate the Paschal joys of prison life. Let all creation worship you. O oh, blessed, forgiving Trinity, and we by pardon born anew shall sing a new song to the Lord. Amen. Son of God, when <clears throat> the Son of Man will be delivered up to be crucified. Rescue me, Lord, from evil men. From the violent keep me safe, from, from those, those who plan evil in their hearts, and stir up strife every day. Who sharpen their tongue like an adder, with a poison of viper on their lips. Lord, guard me from the hands of the wicked, from the violent keep me safe, they plan to make me stumble. The proud have hidden a trap, have spread out lines in a net, set snares across my path. I have said to the Lord, you are my God. Lord, hear the cry of my appeal. Lord, my God, my mighty help, you shield my head in the battle. Do not grant the wicked their desire nor let their plots succeed. Those surrounding me lift up their hands. Let the malice of their speech overwhelm them. Let coals of fire rain upon them. Let them be flung in the abyss no more to rise. Let the slander not endure upon the earth. Let evil hunt the violent man to death. I know the Lord will avenge the poor, and he will justice for the needy. Truly the just will praise your name, the upright shall live in your presence. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, 
and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. The Son of Man will be delivered up to be crucified. Everyone abandoned me, but the Lord stood by me. With all my voice I cry to the Lord, with all my voice I entreat the Lord. I pour out my trouble before him. I tell him all my distress, while my spirit faints within me. But you, O Lord, know my path. On the way where I shall walk, they have hidden a snare to entrap me. Look on my right and see, there is no one who takes my part. I have no means of escape, not one who cares for my soul. I cry to you, O Lord, I have said you are my refuge. All I have in the land of the living. Listen then to my cry, for I am in the depths of distress. Rescue me from those who pursue me, for they are stronger than I. Bring my soul out of this prison, and then I shall praise your name. Around me the just will assemble, because of your goodness to me. <clears throat> Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Everyone abandoned me, but the Lord stood by me. If the Son makes you free, you will be free indeed. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trains my arms for battle, who prepares my hands for war. He is my love, my fortress. He is my stronghold, my Savior. My shield, my place of refuge. He brings peoples under my rule. Lord, what is man that you care for him? Mortal man that you keep him in mind. Man who is merely a breath, whose life fades like a shadow. Lord, your heavens and come down. Touch the mountains, breathe them in smoke. Flash your lightnings, rout the foe. Shoot your arrows and put them to fly. Reach down from heaven and save me. Draw me out from the mighty waters. From the hands of alien foes, whose mouths are filled with lies, whose hands are raised in perjury. To you, O oh God, will I sing a new song. I will play on the tenth string blue. Do you give kings their victory? Who set David your servant free? You set him free from the evil sword. You rescued him from alien foes. Whose mouths were filled with lies, whose hands were raised in perjury. Let our sons then flourish like saplings, grow tall and strong from their youth. Our daughters graceful as columns, adorned as though for a palace. Let our barns be filled to overflowing with crops of every kind. Our sheep increasing by thousands, myriads of sheep in our fields. Our cattle heavy with young, 
no ruin wall, no exile, no sound of weeping in our streets. Happy the people with such blessings, happy the people whose God is the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. If the Son makes you free, you will be free indeed. You alone are holy, you alone are God. Mighty and wonderful are your works, Lord God Almighty. Righteous and true are your ways, O King of the nations. Who would dare refuse you honor, for the glory to your name, O Lord. Since you alone are holy, all nations shall come and worship in your presence. Your mighty deeds are clearly seen. Yes, Lord God Almighty, your judgments are true and just. There shall be no more death or mourning. The old order has passed away. The amen of faithful and true witness. The source of God's creation says this. Let him who thirsts come forward, and him who wants it receive the gift of life-giving water. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. You alone are holy, you alone are God. From the letter of St. James. Declare your sins to one another and pray for one another that you may find healing. The fervent petition of a holy man is powerful indeed. My brothers, the case may arise among you of someone straying from the truth and of another bringing him back. Remember this. The person who brings a sinner back from his way will save his soul from death and cancel a multitude of sins. Mode 8. Quare eu navimus et non as vexisti, humiliavimus animas nostras et necisti. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him. In every generation. 
creation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the love of his servant Israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy. The promise he made to our fathers to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Et non as vexisti, umidia vimus animas nostras, benesisti. The Savior of mankind, by dying, destroyed death, and by rising again, restored life. Let us humbly ask Him. Kyrie Redeemer of the world, give a greater share of your passion through give us a greater share of your passion through a deeper spirit of repentance, so that we may share the glory of your resurrection. May your mother, comfort of the afflicted, protect us. May we console others as you console us. In their trials, enable your faithful people to share in your passion, and so reveal in their lives your saving power. You humbled yourself by being obedient even to accepting death, death on a cross. Give all who serve you the gifts of obedience and patient endurance. For two persons who are gravely ill who ask for prayers, for healing. For upcoming talks of highest of high school, for those who attended the St. Pass Retreat in the last week, uh, for a special attention. Transform the bodies of the dead to be like your own in glory and bring us at last into their <laughs> fellowship. <laughs> Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. Show gracious favor, Lord, we pray, to the works of penance we have begun, that we may have strength to accomplish with sincerity the bodily observances we undertake to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. The Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. May the divine assistance be always with us. And also with our brothers and sisters. Martyrology of February the 29th. The year of the Lord, 1856, blessed August. 
Chef de Lay, a member of the Society of the Foreign Missions of Paris, and his companions. They were martyred after two years of intense missionary activity in China, which had not seen Catholic priests for more than 150 years. Elsewhere, the heavenly birth of numerous other saints whose names are inscribed in the Book of Life. 